All right, we're going to call this meeting to order. Let's uh, stand and yes. do the pledge, please. Um, I pledge allegiance to, allegiance to, to the flag of, of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Clerk, call the roll, please. All can see. Here. Bender? Here. Martin? Here. Sellers? Here. Pat Sellers? Here. Supervisor? Okay. Right. All present and accounted for. You forgot. You forgot. Who? No. I forgot who? I'm just an extra. No, she's she's not part of the trustee. Here we go. First uh, item on the agenda is the approval of minutes of May 6, 2013 regular meeting. I need a motion to approve. I move for approval of the minutes from May 6, 2013 regular meeting. Second. Right. No. Was a motion by Bender, second by Martin. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? Supervisor Sellers? Yes. Oh, never mind. This isn't. How do how, I'm just, I'm sorry. Because these are prior to the newly seated right. Um, right. trustees, do they vote on it? Yes, because they haven't been approved. Haven't been approved they have to vote on minutes that they did now. Yes, the meeting they the didn't that's attend. what I was told, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So? All in favor? Yep, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed. Always do all opposed. All opposed? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Next item, approval of minutes of May 13th, 2013, special meeting. I need a motion to approve and a second, please. So moved. Second. Who's second? Sellers? Sellers. Second by Sellers. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Motion passed. All right. The uh, next item is the uh, approval of minutes of May 20th, 2013, Shh. regular meeting. I need a motion to approve. And a second, please. I make a motion to approve. Second. Seller, second by Bender. Any discussion? Excuse I just me, Ms. Bender, you can't second it. You weren't there. I was too at the 20th meeting. 20, oh, oh, the 20th. I'm sorry. I was thinking of the 28th. Yes, she was there. Sorry, she was there. Yep, she was yep, there. She was there. Yes. Okay, so it's Sellers. I was just going to say something nice about you, Pinky. I'm <laughs> going to. Well, I wanted to make sure. I just wanted to say, Barb, that these minutes are excellent. Mm -hmm. I've not seen minutes like this for years. Um, someone who's not been to this meeting could understand what actually happened at the meeting. Thank you. And I'm happy about that. Thank yes. you. The compliment. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. No, no discussion. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. All right. Next is the approval of minutes of May 28th, a special meeting. The public session only. I need a motion to approve. May 28th? Yes. May 28th. Okay. We just need a motion. That's all right. But I'll wait, like right. Michael says, to get another first and a second in that discussion. Yes. I got it. So I need a mm -hmm. motion. We just need somebody to make a motion. I make a motion to approve. You need a second? Second. Okay. Discussion. Question, Ben. Mm -hmm. These are not the executive minutes are they these no. are just the no. minutes oh. that's from the public Outside. session, public session. Mm -hmm. okay okay then um next question because if you if you read that it says in there that we went out of executive session yeah. mm -hmm. i just wanted yeah. to be sure yes um I 
didn't see in here um, uh, under retaining legal counsel the reason for my objection um, because I said it was too open-ended and it wasn't subject specific, cost specific, or time specific. Okay. And that did not get in there. Now I don't, it was, it should it have or, because um, I noticed in the other minutes you had detail, but you didn't have that detail in here. But I, just because I voted no, I didn't want to just be sitting on a no without an explanation. Okay. Okay. Then I'll add that into these minutes and that you objected because it's open-ended. And what else? Um, it, it was no cost, open-ended, and um, wasn't time-specific. Time-specific. Okay. okay. Those three things. I had a question. Um, just wanted to know that um, when it said it would be an additional $900 per program per person, I just wanted to know who was um, going to do the, um, is it like a training or something? Or is it, it says an additional $900 per program. Is that, what is what is that? I mean, just to, to get it. That, um, that's what it would cost us to train someone under the current system that we have for GA. That doesn't know the system that now. That doesn't know the system now. Okay. So all of our current staff know the system. But if new staff come in, then they this would, have to would be be trained. Be, yes. have to be a training. Okay. Do we know um, the number of um, uh, the list of, uh, what do I want to call it? Um, the, the, the number of um, things that come out of this system and how they interface, do we have any idea? You know, do they interface with uh, the bills payable? Do they interface with the claims? Do they interface with GA? Do they interface with um, uh, our uh, budget? As far do as we what know the that? As far as um, this, this um, uh, what's it called? O line is decision, decision, decision systems. systems. Yeah. yeah. What what do, do we know what we get from them? What what kind of printouts we get from them? From decision okay. systems. Decision systems, yeah. Um, we get uh, GA forms and all of that. I, I'm not I'm not sure. What, okay, well, it's interfaced with accounting and personnel, mm -hmm. and it's interfaced with you know doing right. The, it's like the, this this mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Our budget, mm -hmm. uh, the account balances. Yes. Um, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But do we have any idea? Because I know we used to get statistics, and I think we got statistics at the town meeting that came out of that same system. S statistics, as far as uh, numbers of clients, number of mm -hmm. clients, this yeah. right here, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that's all right. I just I just wanted to know if we have any kind of you know list that tells us exactly what the system does and what it produces. The current system? Yes, yes. Decision systems. No, she said. <coughs> or the what, new yeah, system. The new, we, the new system we're talking that about we're looking, trying to put into place. I guess it's going to be more up to date. Right. I, mean, I, guess, I guess what we have now doesn't do so what, as much as this. You want to know what the new system is no, going no, to do? No, no, I want to know what the system. old system does so I can compare it with the new system. And mm -hmm. so far we don't have a new system, is that right. correct? Right, no, okay. no. Okay. The old system is everything you've been reading over as, for, as far as being a board member on this board, right. everything that you've been reading is from the old system. Okay, so all the budgets, all mm -hmm. the levies, all the claims and demands, all the... Levies, I don't... I think the, the levies, no, the levies aren't generated from that program. And I think they are, if I remember rightly. That's why I asked. Um, we should have been asking all these questions when the six thousand dollars was paid was paid to well the but the, right. see the thing is nikki i thought all that right. stuff came from the system now we do, we don't seem real sure so i i just kind of like to know <coughs> for sure what i remember comes from the system that that i'm hearing people say 
I don't think it does that or I don't think it does this. I remember that it did. I mean, all of this paperwork that we had was all interfaced with the system. With now, the... I could be wrong, but that's what I remember. Okay. So, I would, well, I guess I, it, you know, as I understand it too, it, um, it, you can call him call at home. nauseum. He doesn't charge for a phone call. He will charge if he comes. Okay. Now, that's how I understood how this works. I mean, it was just, it's just like QuickBooks. You buy the package, right. you know, and then you can call if you've got problems. You know what I'll do? With who? Um, I would talk to Jennifer and Caitlin. Since yeah. they're the ones who yeah. work on the system every day, they, mm -hmm. they should be able to tell me what all, what yeah. all the system generates. That would be great. I would that. appreciate that. Okay. okay. Now, how important are these levy papers? What are, what are they? That's an annual. Yeah, oh, very important. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm That's just saying what, if, yeah. if. Very important. They were. So yeah, important. it's a state statute that we have to do those. I'm pretty years. sure they should be there then if they really don't. Uh, well, I, I mean, I, I would think, you know. System mm -hmm. generating. Okay. Appreciate it if you mm -hmm. could. Mm -hmm. No problem. Because I, I think when Cindy said it was comparing hers was like apples and oranges, and that's true because he comes in and does updates on your system for, you he's, know, he's creating properties. Programs. He's creating the program. Okay. What you have from Decision Systems is a canned program, massage right. somewhat, I'm assuming, to meet the needs of this office. My uh, comment uh, is, is that they have the software in place. What you're actually buying annually from him are updates. And they're expensive updates. Well, let's let's just see yeah. what he produces for us. I'm on the end. Who is he? The man oh, that runs Mr. decision Old Wine. systems. Mr. Old Wine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I think it's his name is in here. Is yes, it? Yeah, yes. here it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, from decision systems. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. But the, can I ask another question? Yes. Um, I guess the people that use the system. Mm -hmm. Um. Do they think that the, the the virtual GA system is more up to date than this decision system? You know, is it a better? You know, I don't know. I'm asking the question. The people that you have to use the yeah. system every day. You know, I've, uh, is that? Yeah, is I've, that? A, I've allowed Caitlin and Brian to look at what I'm going to hand you guys out right there. Yeah. And. The consensus from the, some of those two are that it's, it's a good system. And the only thing they would like to know is that if we can put the forms as far as um, the names on top of the forms, like this is for um, Harlem Township, and could we do assistance for Harlem Township? Can we, can we change the name on different forms? And yes, we can. So what's going to happen is um, probably Next week, Brian, Caitlin, and I are going to sit down on the phone with the guy from um, Visual GA. Mm -hmm. and they're going to address all the questions that they have, and he, she's going to ask them all the questions that, okay. that they have. That, so. To me, I'm just wondering, is it, is it um, uh, better for them to say, right. we like this system, mm -hmm. and it's an easier system to work with mm -hmm. than the board, and we know nothing about the system, and we're not using the system. Right. You know, so it makes no sense for us to say, we want to see what what decision systems have to offer versus the virtual system, right. but we're not even using it. The people that's using it should make really make, make the, the, the big decision mm -hmm. because right. we're not using it. I agree. But I mean, that's I, how I think. I agree. But I, I am concerned about what each system produces and how it interfaces. Um, Trustee Martin, um, the virtual GA system is used by 30 townships across the state of Illinois. Um, all 30 of them can't be wrong. Well, <laughs> Some, no, Someone but, has to be right. Yeah, but I think some of them have different ways of doing things. And I, I guess I'll call to you why and see, you know, what, what, their, what their thinking is then. Okay, that's fine. Because it's, it's important to me that um, we've had, we have a system that interfaces. And I'm not so sure the virtual GA system has that much interface, but I you could know, be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, right. a, it yeah. it's a quicker, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, even better. better yeah. It's a quicker system. Um, it will, we'll save on time. Yeah. 
but you can uh, call a TOI and yes. I'll give you the virtual GA information. Okay, and you can that'd be great. Look over that and give them a call too. So. And I think, think be if, done you know, Caitlin, she's right on top of things. Yeah. She knows. Yeah, right. Yeah. If Caitlin thinks it's. Yeah, so. she can. She's like Ted used to be. She could read a manual and understand yeah, right. it, whereas we probably might. Oh, right. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if, they're using, the if they have to be the people to use it. Right, not yeah. us. Yeah. Well, the other, the other issue, <coughs> I think, is our audit, you know, and how our audit gets done and how our auditors feel about the system that we have. Because if we change auditors, you know, um, it's time for us to change are. auditors. We've been with We're them much too long. Well, it doesn't matter who we have; they're all very professional. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm I'm fine with any change. But I'd sure like to know, you know, get some feedback about how this system has worked for them. Oh, did well? That will come later. I'm sorry. I'll see you. Did you uh, get a chance to go to the virtual GA website and? And look at it. Who me? Yes, ma'am. No, no, no. Okay. I didn't know they had a website. What? Okay. Okay. We've All got right. A motion in a second. All a righty. Second to Good special meeting. I would just need to pass it. Everybody. All righty. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 With the changes we talked about. Mm -hmm. All right. Next agenda item. Approval of prevailing wage ordinance TR 2013-13. I move for approval. This is something we have to do without even a vote, yep. really. So we get a, we get a first. A first. Yeah. And second. All can see. Yep. Second. Roll. Yes, please. Call okay. the roll. Alton C. Yes. Bender. Aye. Martin. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Okay. Motion passed. All right. The next item on the agenda is appointment of Carl Schwartz as township building inspector. Yeah, should we discuss now? Can you explain later? what you're doing? Oh, yes, I can discuss what you're doing. Thank you. And then yes. Let's take a look at that. Um, we are, uh, I'm a stickler on, on properties being up to cold, and I feel that our clients deserve to be in a, in a, in a, in a, in a home that's that's safe and up to code. So I talked to Mr. Schwartz, who is a certified inspector, and he, he and I talked about him contracting with us at $15 per hour on an as-needed basis to inspect homes of, of our clients that are bringing in new rental agreements. That was a discussion that I had with, with Mr. Schwartz, and that was the idea that I had. So are there any questions? The only thing, oh, I'm sorry. No, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Um, the only thing that comes to mind is, um, are we taking responsibility away from both the, the house in Freeport who should be inspected by the Freeport inspector? We have a a building inspector for the town of Freeport. Mm -hmm. yes, Isn't that their responsibility to do that? Would it then not be the responsibility of a client to make sure that if he was in a house that it was properly inspected. I mean, isn't this what we want our people to do is to be responsible wow. and be part of, you know, a system and help make it work? I, I, I just oh. I just wondered, you know, that that's what came to mind for me. Well, I'd like to make a comment on that. I am on the um, board that is over the um, landlord um, landlords in Freeport, and we're looking right now. The Freeport um, inspector, he was part time. They're just now letting him um, become full time. Mm -hmm. He's way over his head. He doesn't have um, enough. They would like to get a full time and a part time. Um, is it 
what is it? Is it NICA? What is it? NICA. NICA. Yeah, they have an inspector. Um, and they have someone that goes out and look. And um, this right here, what we're doing in the board, um, uh, Supervisor Sellers was at the first, I mean, at the last meeting that we had, and he had brought up that he was looking into getting an inspector. And everybody on the board was just really thankful because some of these homes that these people are living in is ridiculous. I mean, it is, it is so sad. Mm -hmm. And the, the inspector that we have right now, he cannot do our job and his job. It's, it's just ridiculous. And it is very sad. No, excuse me. So sad. It's, it's not really up to the homeowner no, to make sure the, that a lot of the homeowners, inspected. they just want somewhere to stay. They're not, you know, they, and, and some of the landlords, if they do say something, they have them they leave it or, or well, make it difficult. But it's, it's really sad the way some of these homes that we are paying for these people to live in. And if, if and that's the big thing now, they want to pass an ordinance that that these homes are inspected before people go and live yes. in it. That would probably make the landlords do some because we got a bunch of slum ho apartments right. or homes or whatever around here. And that's what the biggest thing. And this right here with supervisor sellers saying that he was going to add an inspector, that would also help the city inspector. But I I say yes. <laughs> I, I, just, I had this, yeah. um, I had a conversation with um, Mr. Sellers about this thing because I was concerned about us hiring someone uh, and then he cleared up that it's just as needed it's not somebody we're putting on the payroll um, years ago township used to do that two of our people used to go out and do the inspections themselves um, I feel that that's something that they can do once they're caught up on going back out and looking again and then maybe as each case comes in two of our own people can go and do it themselves we have a gentleman here you'd send always we always sent two people um so i i think this is a good thing to get started uh and do all the backlog and then as the new people come in maybe our own people can go and i know there are even houses where we're paying two and three people to live in that same yeah one bedroom house yeah. yep. and these are all things that we need to find out there's been a lot of money wasted in past years what? Uh, by doing this so um I, I i will support this the way it stands now what happens if you go out and inspect a home where we have clients what do we do with the clients where do they go what's their problem the same thing i think with what facc does and what nica does I, I keep thinking I want to say, I think I'm saying, yeah. what they do, they tell those people to go out or they help them find somewhere else to go and help them get That's situated sure. somewhere else. Because some of these homes, if you would have saw some of the pictures of some of these homes that we are paying for people to live in, it's absolutely horrible. I so I, some of the homes yeah. Like. I, so yeah, okay. so I, I, uh, of them. I think um, it, like you say, Nikki, I think if we even just get started right. and just let them see that, some of these landlords see right. that we're right. not paying for anything, right. it would be who, better than that. Um, yeah. Who would then help the client find another place to live? The, the, uh, we can give them other places. We can always give them other places, you know. We can give them the rentals. Can we, like, keep a list so we that could, if yeah. we go and there are you know um bad situations we can give them a list we could, of where we could probably they get could a list from the realtors association mm -hmm. uh, yeah. what is and that I, yeah, I, mm -hmm. that would be a great idea yeah or even collaborate with what facc does and nica does and see how they do it mm -hmm. and I remember some, years ago they used to have a list yeah there um, is a li they do have yeah. a list supervisor sellers there's also the opportunity um, because we get in so many homes um, properties every year well over 200 um, and when we see issues, one, we don't know if your clients are going to be in those homes, but we make notation of, of all issues that we see. Um, and if they're bad enough, we have also shared with the city at that point because they are unsafe. Mm -hmm. um, but there is something that, again, that <coughs> we can work together as far as if there's something that we know about the properties, then we could share that information with you, which will well, will, will the city respond? So the if you go in and you find 
problems. If it's bad enough, yes. They will. Yes. Okay. So that's a good cooperative yes. you know, thing that they could do. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're talking about the landlord um, committee for sit the city? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So this landlord who is with the city? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And also, um, he is he's a licensed inspector. Yes. He's licensed. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Does he have a full-time job, or is he retired, or is this just something? I think this is just going to be a part-time mm -hmm. job for him. Part-time. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that's I. You know what you say, Nikki, makes sense. And um, if we could have a list, I just worry about the clients. You know, kind of being out on the street again without. Of course, keep in mind, go. Mickey, that a lot of these clients are barred from even getting <coughs> housing in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they also keep a list. Oh, you mean certain certain clients can't rent in certain areas? Not in certain areas. They just there are um, no one wants to rent to them. So landlords. I've had two of them. The landlords. Oh, landlords. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Don't when I call with the name, sometimes they'll no. Mm -hmm. I called four landlords before I got one finally to take this one. And you know, a lot of landlords now do background checks. Oh, they all do now. And, um, Class one or class X mm -hmm. drug felony. Well, I, I just see this as kind of yeah, it's maybe being a <coughs> problem down the road if we start saying, you know, we're not going to pay if you stay there and there's nowhere well, we to go. Well, we have to do something. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's way I mean, past, why should we let them stay in somewhere that's a dump? Yeah. <laughs> that's why do you want to keep giving that see? landlord that yeah. money? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's it's time to do well, something. Well, I'm not so much thinking <laughs> of the landlord, I'm yeah. thinking of the the client that's out on the street, you know, with nowhere to go and it's being refused. Um, hopefully, we have. Well, enough some of, of those list. people then go to FACC and they get in the transitional housing. Mm -hmm. and, okay. And cats. And that, cats very good at giving people another mm -hmm. chance. Okay. Okay. Just I just want to be comfortable with the fact that we're not going to leave them out there for <coughs> in the way. Okay. Okay. We still need a motion. I move for approval of Carl Swartz as the Township Building Inspector. I second. So it's going to be 15 per hour as needed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just so that that's part of the, you know, understanding that he's not coming on as a full-time staff. No. 15 per hour as needed. He's not coming on as an employee at all. Yeah. He's yeah. an independent contractor. Independent contractor. So if he earns more than 600 in, in fiscal year, we have to give him the 1099. Mm -hmm. So if, um, if Carl finds some violations, what's the next step? Going to the city yeah. and filing papers on these certain violations, and then you give the landlord so many days. Mm -hmm. And if not, they get fined, and you know, I bet you 90 percent of them just go, okay, whatever. Well, there's two different things. Let's be clear on this. If he finds it's uninhabitable, he can report it to the city, but then we have an independent second action as to whether we're going to uh, generate funds for the for the family to live in those <coughs> premises if they're uninhabitable. That's separate and distinct from whatever the city's going to do. We do what we're going to do. We're trying to make sure that our clients have safe, dependable housing. And if they're not safe and dependable, then we may have to find that client a new place to live and cut off the funds for supporting of that housing. Whatever the city does for violations of the city's housing or building or life safety or fire code is totally separate. Okay. We will let them know. We'll share the information. But we're going to do we're, our job is to protect our clients and make sure that they have safe housing. Next item on the agenda. Need a vote. Oh, need a vote. <laughs> need a vote. Need a vote. Okay, call the roll for me. Yes. Altenzi. Aye. Bender. Aye. Martin. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Motion passed. Motion passes. All right. <laughs> now, the next item on the agenda is the approval of bills, uh, payable claims and demands. You want I need a motion. Questions now or after the motion? After the motion. Okay. Yes. Okay. I need a motion and a second. Did somebody make a motion? No. Nope. Need a motion and a second. I move for approval of the bills, 
fortune. Now we can ask questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I see under uh, town supervisor we had Compass Computer in here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, is this your guy? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, what, what was he? It says 519. <coughs> Transition was until 520, and then this goes to 525. But what was his um, purpose for being in here? Because I see Decision Systems was also in here, mm -hmm. you know, doing some training. Right. But what was the purpose of um, Compass Computer backed being up, here? Backed up our system. Backed up our system. Uh, the system like, needed backing up. You do a backup. A backup of the entire oh, system. Oh, and the hard, the hard yes. drive? Okay. Off-site, I use the word, so. Off-site? Sure. You, you don't back it up in the same place because if the building burns, you lose right. all your records. Whether you use a cloud service or a hard drive somewhere else, <laughs> or you make a hard so, drive. So where do we off-site? It's on a hard drive. Uh, on off-site hard drive. somewhere out in cyberspace? <laughs> no, it's, 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 in a, it's in a hard drive. Okay, okay. And then what do we do with that? Um, do we put it somewhere or just keep it in the hard drive? Keep it in the hard drive. Okay. In case the system shuts down or something okay. messes up with the system, we'll have the information that was on the system prior to it shutting down. Right, Those that, that was one question. Then, mm -hmm. um, now, I was confused about this before. I think somebody answered my question, but I didn't, I don't recall. But payroll and miscellaneous expenditures, it seems like we have all our insurance under three sections, uh, miscellaneous, town supervisor, and town assessor. Why three different distinctions for the insurance? Was that before supervisor? <laughs> well, we, it's, it's here, right, and it's here. <coughs> And it's also over. But I'm saying, is this something new? No. No, it's not something new. If, but I just needed clarification because I, I had asked a question before and didn't get an answer. On uh, uh, Trustee Martin, and are you re are you referring to the Humana insurance? No, I. The look at the section up here. It says payroll and miscellaneous. Right. Okay, okay. that's a two thousand figure there. Right. Okay. Then you look down here and it says town supervisor. Right. That's understandable because that's for there. And then over here it says uh, town assessor. Right. And that's understandable. Right. And so I don't know what the first one. The first one is for general assistance. Is my assumption. Yes. I shouldn't. Is say that. that the staff? They all are staff, and how, however, that budget had been designed for for 2013-14, which you approved, you would have seen that there was defined breakdown of three locations for these. Okay, I remember that from the budget, but with this up here not being labeled, I wasn't sure. So this up here should be GA payroll, and I won't say that for fact. I'm oh. just saying what 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 it was done, <coughs> and this has been well, done see, like this. Yes, forever. I know, I know. But the thing is, it doesn't compare when I looked at the budget. That's why, you know, because we had a GA, we had a GA, we had a uh, town supervisor, and we had a town assessor. So, so yeah, I just want saying the account numbers don't match. No, I'm just saying that we have three sections. And so, and there's three sections in in our budget. There is one under general G fund, the I for the I supervisor, for myself, and then there's also a section under general assistance. So, so there's always been three. Yes, yes. But th since this isn't labeled, I just wanted to be sure I was reading it right. This is generated from decision systems, and right. that must be how they label them. Okay. Then can can we get some clarification so I know? Because you know we we have two thousand here, three thousand here. And three thousand <coughs> on the other page. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, almost ten thousand dollars. Is that our monthly payout? I mean, it could be because I know insurance is very expensive. It went up twenty five percent a few years back. So um, I, I'm just trying to figure out: is it is this the ten thousand dollars or the what? Is that something new or is? I mean, just because. No, no, it's not. It's okay, not. So it's not. Okay. I just wanted clarification and had asked before and didn't get it. So okay. maybe maybe that could be something, Mr. Sellers, that you could ask Caitlin and them when you talk about, you know, what is the list of 
products that are produced out of uh, decision systems. Mm -hmm. And maybe you could just ask the question why it's broke out that way. Why this is broke out in three different sections. Yes, yes, yes. And I think it's a set. I went back and looked at the budget, and Cindy's on to something when she says GA, you know, also town supervisor mm -hmm. and town assessor. Right. Okay. You know, because that's how that's how the budget yeah, and it, it, It's been like this. Right. I know it has. I know it has. But maybe we just need more clarification. Mm -hmm. Okay. That right, and then, did we ever get a response back about the budget from? Okay. We didn't vote on manpower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anything happening there? Well. Whenever you guys decide that you want us to pay manpower, I can write it and send it on to them because the but check is Do we is owe them? Yes, we do. Then, then maybe we should pay them. Mm -hmm. If we owe them. That was, that was going to talk about that under my okay. supervisor's... Okay, uh, I can uh, hold on that. That's fine. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just have a That's question. I'm, I'm still... I mean, and I know and I understand they say, they say that um, so many people might be living in mm -hmm. a home, but to me... I mean, every first and third Monday, we're seeing the same addresses with the same amount of numbers, and that's just, to me, I just think it's something to look into, or uh, how long have we been paying these same um, I know. Uh, clients? Mm -hmm. For years. Right. I know, and I'm saying it's, it's, right. it's, to me, it's getting a bit ridiculous. I'm seeing the same names, mm -hmm. with the same, you know, <laughs> four and five, two fifties or whatever, right. and it's it's the it's same a landlords, right? Not yes. the, the same landlords, but I'm saying they're getting it. They're the getting same. their houses paid for, right? Well, yeah. my, by the Freeport Township, right? And I'm saying right. it's getting right. to be a, a bit ridiculous well, because they've gotten the business a couple of years. Well, my goal is this. My goal is to look and see how many of our clients have been on township for how long. Mm -hmm. Then it's time to start a weaning process. Mm -hmm. It's time to start a real weaning process, to wean them off of, of, of township. So that's something that, 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 that I am going to look into. And these, these landlords that mm -hmm. own the properties, mm -hmm. I don't know if it makes any difference. If you're on Social Security or on disability, you're only allowed to make so much in addition to your Social Security payment, and if you go over that, right. you're cut off. Mm -hmm. So does Social Security know that they're receiving? They must, because they have Social Security numbers yeah. and things of that nature. I mean, if somebody owns a home, that's great. But if you're on disability and you're getting paid $1,000 a month on top of your disability, that's income. Yes, it is. I agree. I, I think you're driving a car to do some of the inspections that's going to help you, you know, bring a lot of that to the surface. Yeah, because this is, ooh. yeah, it's going to bring a lot of that to the surface, I think. That's what I like to see. Was, was this, are you done, Nikki? Um, oh, the only other one, and maybe this is just a, a clerical thing, on page seven under Robert Bravo. Um, it doesn't have a room number on that second one. Okay. You know, I, I think I asked for that the last two. Um, yeah. Last, even when before, I asked for that, and they for some reason did not put it on there. Which one now? It's not been on several. It's under Robert. 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 No, Bob Raybuck. On page seven. Okay. I asked that question. Uh, and what are we missing on here now? It's just a, a room number. Room number so. Because it would be interesting to know if the, you know, two people were in the same room. Okay, and there was there's one on page three also under our okay. investments. Doesn't okay. have the apartment number. Okay, you're right. Okay. It, it what just page is on that? Three. Three? Page, page three, three under age Argent Investment Group. Oh, one's at 417 and one's at 417. Oh, now that one, okay, that would be. Page six is the same thing under Ronnie London. Mm -hmm. It's always been like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here. Well, it just, it, is it a difference if it's a rooming house? They're rooming houses. 
Okay. Uh, Phil McDermott says a rooming first. house. This is a rooming house. Yeah, okay. this is a rooming house in Galena. Yeah, this is a yeah. I would love to get some of these. Um, <laughs> <laughs> some of these checks every month. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I understand that it's only a partial. So the does, rooming house is not. Does the um, the rooming house is full? No. Two seventy five. Two seventy five. Yeah. Okay, that's For the, the rooming same. houses. Yeah. Okay. So some of these are rooming houses, some of these are not. Right. right. And, um, looking at what the numbers are, are we looking into um, lowering? Um, I know we do the two. Is it two seventy five? Two seventy five. Are we looking into doing the? The lowering what the number is? That's a discussion that I'm going okay. to have with okay. with okay. The, with Attorney Phillips. And oh, okay. Yes. So we're definitely looking into that. Wow. We've started the discussion. We're just waiting on me to give some more yeah. information. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done, Nikki? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. We have a motion and no. a second. No, 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 no. Not yet. Oh, there's still more? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is I thought she was saying that to get the, the no. motion and the second. No, um, under Pitney Bowles and U.S. Postal Service. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Can we, uh, on page one, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, seems like in the last year we've spent a lot of money on postage. And yes. The Pitney Bowles thing, are we yes. looking into that? Yes, we're definitely okay. looking into that. Okay. Because a lot of with the with the um, introduction of QuickBooks, we can eliminate a whole lot of our postage just by paying our bills online. Oh, okay. So, okay. That's 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 going to help. Can even pay our water bill that's that's good data. Data. So, yeah. uh, on page three, then <clears throat> this is evidently the same client, but it goes January. It's clear back from March. Where's that one at? On page three, uh -huh. uh, under Verdine Allen. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. Do you have any idea why yeah. it's way back from March? No, I don't, but I'm definitely yeah. going to find out. Right, okay. that's a lot. Yeah, that's $998. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a lot. In one check. Mm -hmm. um, I think I have one more here, if you bear with me. Where's it at? Uh, one main financial. Paying on a mortgage account again. I don't know if this is the same person, but with, uh, page seven, okay. second from the top. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you ladies see something here. This is something that we may have to talk about changing as well. <laughs> if you look at the top, yeah, this is the top line, <laughs> and A, it clearly states that we can. A mortgage. We can? Yes. Okay. That's well, a wonderful way to get your house paid for. Yeah, home. well, I'm going to look gonna look into getting that changed because okay, I'm not that's good. I wasn't too happy know, about that myself. Now, is this so. um, our definition rather than the state statutes, or is this out of the state statutes? This is uh, our definition because I went to the GA book and I didn't see anything about paying any mortgages, but okay. they never specified it. They said shelter. Now, that okay. could be a broad range of things. So that's, that's uh, I need Depends to talk to you about. And, and, and I understand about. What, what township is about, mm -hmm. you know. And I know that with um, the economy now today, mm -hmm. somebody might need some help right. in paying a a mortgage, a mortgage right. not continuous. Right, right. But to continue, and that's not even what I'm going. saying, even with rent. Right. I mean, I cannot understand that we just continually pay and pay. I mean, I would love for somebody to keep paying my bills over and over. Right. And over. But we, it has to be a point, has like you said, yes. that we've got to cut some of this off and 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 you know not let it be where where they're they're. Uh, source of payment that because some of these people yeah, even they, looking at some of the addresses you know not that I know of their mortgage. right but but mm -hmm. what I'm and I can understand you need some help because right. you know the economy has gotten bad but um, there comes a point where um, you know there was you know a time in my own personal life I needed help but I couldn't get help from township because you made too much right. but it's, it's got to be a point where these people have to start being responsible because some of these 
um, addresses that I see uh -huh. that I can say that these people are doing absolutely nothing. Okay. You know, when you ride by all day long, all whatever, they're, you know, doing nothing. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Another thing under this, uh, Mr. Sellers, is the food, even if you receive food stamps. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's a little ridiculous also I because we also too. have six pantries with another one about to open up in Freeport mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that five out of the six you'll be able to go to once a month. Uh, the other so one you can only go you every can go Five you can go to every month. Every every month, month five one different month. ones. Right. <coughs> and then the other one you can only go to every two months. So I don't see any reason to uh, even give them food after they've got their food stamps too. Well, my, um, my, my, my thoughts are this now. We have a lot of people who have signed their contracts under this paper right here. Now, will they be grandfathered in to continue receiving these services? And we just cut it off and new, all the new people who start up with us have to abide under our new system? Well. I think that's a legal issue. That's going to hammer yeah. out. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking that yeah, if they... You, that needs hammering out. I yeah. agree. Mm -hmm. So that's just, that's just my thoughts. I mean, well, yeah, we got to do something. Yes. Because um, I agree with you, Nikki, with um, some of these pantries every Saturday. You see, mm -hmm. the, you know, the same line. Right. Come on. And even with the, the article in the paper with what some of these people are doing with their yeah. mm -hmm. food stamps, food stamps yeah. you know, are we yeah. making the easy Are, we, yeah. are yeah. we making it We're a right. crutch. Yeah. You see them at the pantry Saturday morning, you see them out on the down Saturday night. Right. They don't so, have to buy food. <laughs> right. Yeah, we got it. And is it okay. most of it? Is, is that why they're in selling the their cards? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. what did you Anybody say? who is in the food bank, we can't no. ask what their income is. No. You can come, anybody can come, oh, Cindy can come. Oh, that big truck that comes from Rockford? Well, the, both, we belong to the food bank, plus I bring the mobile in once a month. But Third Wednesday? Yeah, neither, neither can we ask for income. We can't actually, for anything we get from the food bank, we can't ask them anything other than their name. Mm -hmm. But what about like the Tuesday and Thursday pantry? That's the same way. As long as we belong to the food bank, we have to do this. Yes. I mean, that and that's a, we can tell people they go to the food bank. <laughs> and I don't have a problem giving it to them, you know, but I'm just saying they don't, we don't need to give them more yet. Yeah. You know, I, I think I think what Freeport does uh, for food, I, I can't believe anybody's going hungry. No. You know, and we cook five days a week a big meal at noon. Uh, we give away a lot of food. Other than the, the pantry, we give away a lot of food. Every day I give away stuff. Mm -hmm. Are there any more just questions about the claims and demands? Mm -hmm. okay. Ready for roll call vote? Yes, need to call the vote. Sellers. Oh, yeah, it's uh, you. Usually still. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I. Martin? I. Bender? I. Alton C? I. Sellers? I. Motion passed. Motion. Bought me off guide on that one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Usually she always does. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask for a short recess. I need to talk to Mr. Phillips for okay. a few seconds, and I'll be, be right back. I'm sorry, I have to run because I have a go to Cedarville meeting i got to run to. They're waiting on me. On some Don't run drive. Yeah. Don't <laughs> run. I'm driving careful. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. Coming out of that house. Are you going to report tomorrow? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Okay. I will be back tonight. With the fields and the hair and the clothes. After the meeting? And the yes. moo moo. And, and you look are cold. And you look at that house, and you thought, how could all those kids raise that little house? I was there a couple of weeks ago and bought some bread. I was going to talk about the supervisor's report now because they, they sell mm -hmm. them every year. I'll talk about the supervisor's report about something. Where's that at? Uh, 645 West Cleveland. Oh, oh I go over there and buy stuff. Yeah, definitely. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah.
Are we ready to get back going? Uh -huh. We're ready. Okay. We're ready. We're the next thing is supervisor's report. And I was going to talk to you about something in supervisor's report. Did you write it down? Yes. What was it? Uh, the manpower thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I have the manpower check. Um, I will get it in the mail tomorrow to them. Okay. Do you need approval from us to, to send it? I because it wasn't included on the bill. No, so we yeah. pulled it out. We so pulled we it out, yes. Yeah. So we'll need we approval from you guys. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. So okay. The I'll, I'll also move that we approve the manpower payment from the bill from May. Yes. The claims from May. One second. So we're the manpower. Mm -hmm. Is that the. The person that they hired? Yeah, that was the that was a temp that we talked about um, mm -hmm. that was hired in mm -hmm. and we we decided to to hold the check until I had some further information mm -hmm. about it and mm -hmm. I got the information that I needed mm -hmm. and we're gonna go ahead and we do it. Oh yeah, we are. Yeah, okay. We are. So we're we're keeping them the, the person full time or I think I may have we're understand. paying the bill. That we're with because that's all we're doing. Yeah, we, oh, we okay. bought the manpower a portion. Yeah. Okay, we bought our oh, the, the contract. The contract. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, so, okay. But you yeah. still have the option to keep or let mm -hmm. go. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's just trying to get you. Madam Clerk. Roll. Call the roll. Call the roll, okay. please. Okay. Bender. Aye. Aldensey. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Martin. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Motion passed. All right. Correspondence. Do you have any? No correspondence. None. Any new developments? New developments. No, we talked about Mr. Uh, Schwartz already. So. Okay. No, nope, we're good. Oh. The, the assessor. assessor's report. Uh, nothing at this time. We're just doing our 2013 work. Tax bills came out, and it seemed to cause a stir, which we anticipated because many of the assessments went down, but in fact, their tax bill went up. Oh, so the rate took a 5% increase um, from what was last year. So unfortunately, it's um, it's really hard to explain to somebody, my value of my property has gone down, but my tax bill has, has gone up. And um, that is that is what it is, and it's not a good thing. You had mentioned earlier, Cindy, about um, the one-story houses. Yes. Are you getting much? Feedback on those? Not particularly. It's okay. just in general, people are, okay. their property <laughs> values have gone down, but their tax bill has gone up over okay. last year. So that, that's all I have. Right. It's a trustee's report. Trustee's something. Okay. Nothing. I mean, manpower is just taken care of. Mm -hmm. Did you get a chance to talk to Colleen about? Project specific and time frame. Yes. We have to talk about that in executive session. Oh, very good. So, is, is thank that you. on executive session? Yep. Okay, good. No problem. Thank you. That's, I just wanted to know that. Um, okay. Oh, oh get, and <laughs> we're, we're not going to do the 2000 up front, right? 2000 what? The, the the trustees two thousand dollars no oh, oh no yeah. we can't do that yeah okay oh, come because of that law state legislation oh. because of the law yeah. but you approved it Mickey and I want it <laughs> I didn't approve it yeah you could you you, you voted it. on it and approved it I'm the only one who voted no wait a minute the mo the wait a minute no the way that the the way it's written it didn't say that it would pay uh, when it would pay it it just said you would get two thousand dollars but it didn't say yeah when you would say get when. it oh but she was said it was up front well she was wrong no and then yeah, you get well, 40 wrong. then you get forty dollars she was wrong well, well and i voted no one in the first place <laughs> <laughs> she and was wrong about that, that. Yeah, so supersede state statutes that is right. correct <laughs> ordinance don't supersede state statutes so right yeah right Right. So no. So, that, so, so when do we get our two thousand yeah. dollars? Huh? Well, so get, when do we get it? Get it? After it? after the work is done. After the work is done. You can get it. You can get it even partial. Partial. You can get partials. But, but there goes our vacation, Joy. <laughs> <laughs> you can do prorated or at the end of the year. Or at the end of the year. You can get the two thousand dollars. Prorated is fine. Oh, within pay it monthly. Pay it monthly like we always do. You pay it monthly. Yeah. We'll do it monthly. I never knew it within different 
Oh yeah. Stuff. Well, I the only reason the only reason it changed is because moment. everybody had trouble with you know, the times that they were gone, you know. So we decided because people were gone all winter and then wanted to be paid for it. That's basically what it was. Well, but the, that person, you yeah. know, was teleconferenced, you know, on the meetings. But now that's cleared up, so right. that's been taken care of, and that's no longer We've got an a lot issue. taken care of. Yes, <laughs> you're very good, Patrick. Thank you very much. You're good at what you do. Thank Any you. Any other trustees have anything? Any other trustees? No. No? All right. Now we're public. open the floor for public comments. Yes. Oh, I knew she'd raise her hand. <laughs> I love when a church too, though. I go, I have got um, I just wanted to congratulate Supervisor Sellers on the awesome job that he's doing so far. Um, with little cooperation from the previous um, administration, he just hit the ground running and and I had a lot of great feedback, so keep up the good job. Thank you. And I also have a ton of cheek attaboy for Mike Phillips for not sleeping during the meeting. Too bad he's not here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he keeps us on our He just had to take a break. Yes. <laughs> he keeps us on our toes. Thank you. Any more public comments? No? All right. We now have we are now, yeah. We, are now going we to have to um, adjourn to go into executive session. Yep. To adjourn to go into executive session.